recording. Hello, kids. Welcome back to El Yaqui Mexican Grill out here in 2247 Baseline Street. It is May 16, 2011. I got the homie, good old Dirk, Dirk Allison, aka Demon. A, I don't know what his new uh, artist name is, but he's doing us a favor and recording us today live. It is almost 5 o'clock, and we are going to uh, have a little cooking session, lesson for the day. We're going to teach you how to make vampiros. Now, the literal translation of the word vampiro is vampire. But it got nothing to do with vampires, just the word. Okay? And this is probably one of my best sellers. Once you once you try it, you're hooked. Believe me. So anyway, we're going to take you step by step on how we do this. How we put it down out here at a Jackie, all right? So, realistically, in its most basic form, vampiros are tacos. But it's a, it's a super taco. Just like I'm the super Mexican, not just the Mexican. This is a super taco. All right? So first, to get the process started, we're going to go ahead and grab some of these already sliced onions that we got right over here. Yep, all right. We'll grab, uh, the, the gentleman has requested five of them. So we got to make sure that we're grilling just about the equivalent, uh, just enough onions for five vampiros. So we throw, we throw the, the sliced onions on the grill. We throw a little bit of oil on it because we do want to grill them. That's the whole idea. All right. Get those nice and greased up just like that. I'm not going to turn on my hood. Because if we turn on the hood, it's going to be really loud and you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. We still there? Okay. So we got those going. Now, while we got the grill, the, the onions on the grill, we're going to go ahead and grab the tortillas. Now, our tacos out here, like the traditional tacos, you know, we use the, the little tortillas. Little guys. Okay? So he wants five of them. So we do put two, two of these small tortillas per taco. In this case, vampiro. So there's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. All right, so you put those on the grill. Now, to add to the process, you know, and make sure that we're doing this in a professional manner, we do add a little bit of oil to just to crisp them up just to its optimum uh, status. So we do a little quick quick spray, you know, a little sprinkle, you know, just to get them, get them cracking. We keep an eye on the onions. All right, we, we flip this around a little bit, all right? So we want to make sure that they get very nice and cooked. Now, I got the onions going because by the time these are ready to go, the tortillas and what I'm going to do to these tacos, to these vampiros, is going to, it's just perfect timing. I have, uh, I've developed a process, a system, you know, to where it's just art. Art. I'm an artist. I'm doing artwork. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Let's focus. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip the tortillas on these tacos so that we can get both sides of the of the tortillas browned up. Now that we got the one, the first side uh, up and going, uh, the next step we're still working the onions. We're still working the onions. The next step is the cheese. So this is the main thing about these uh, vampiros cheese. All right, here I come is that you know your traditional tacos they just come with the tortillas the meat onions and cilantro with the little lime on the side the vampiro we take it a step farther we put a little bit of cheese right on top of the tortilla right as the tortilla is browning on the bottom we're going to let that cheese melt a little bit all right now this man has requested al pastor vampiros which actually i kind of screwed up I'm supposed to get this process started a little bit before but that's all right these are al pastor it's already pre-cooked and almost ready to go but there's another step that we got to do it realistically al pastor the meat al pastor is marinated pork now our next step here is that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move the tortillas over so we can get this al pastor cracking all right we'll move these out of the way we'll do a little scrape to get some of this cheese out of the way all right the man said he wants five i already worked this down to an art like i said before so i'm going to put just about enough meat on here for uh, five vampiros. Now, marinated pork it is. Now, that red sauce that you see on the meat is uh, actually my own, my very own seasoning that I make myself, and we got it right here. All right? 
I have I haven't gotten it all worked out and labeled, but the name of my seasoning is called Echame. The word Echame in Spanish means put it on. So Echame. So we do a little Echame on there just to add a little bit of seasoning. Alright? We put a little bit of oil just to make sure we get that, you know, uh, we get those clock those arteries nice and clogged up. Uh, the next step, all right, we're just gonna, so we wanna make sure we get this nice and brown, nice and brown. We're still working the onions. We are still working the onions. We wanna make sure they get nice and grilled there, kids. All right, we got the meat going. The final step for the al pastor meat, the final step here is the pineapple. Sorry, that was my shoe. Where's my pineapple? Pineapple, give me a second. Pineapple. All right. For the purposes of keeping the, the 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 process simple, I just I just do a little pineapple tidbits. We won't show the brand, you know, because they're not paying me to you know to uh, show their stuff. So pineapple tidbits is what we're using. We put a little bit of that pineapple juice. Ooh, you hear that sizzle? All right. Next step is we we'll get through a couple of these chunks, a little tidbits of pineapple on there. Okay. Oh yeah, this right here should very well be orgasmic. I might have to throw a little bit more meat on there so I can make me some for myself. All right, so we got a little bit of pineapple juice. We got the meat cooking. All right, we're gonna let that sit there for a minute. Remember, we're still working the onions. We are still working the onions. We flip them. All right, they're getting there. They're getting there. And we're almost ready here, kids. We're almost ready. The whole idea here, just move these out of the way, is that this, this meat right here gets nice and brown. Nice and brown, kids. This right here, you gotta cut. You really gotta come and try one of these. Uh, the vampiro, realistically, originally, you know, um, they come from the southern part of Sonora. You know, the state where I'm from does uh, uh, most of our food, all of our food, you know, it reflects the region uh, uh, of Sonora uh, in Mexico, where I'm from, and these are typical from there. Most Mexicans will come up in here and say, like, what is a vampiro? It's like, they got blood, you know, is it vampire meat? No. It's just a special taco, super taco. All right, so we're still working the meat. We're still working the meat. We are working the meat here, kids. Oh, yeah. How's that looking there, kid? Is that your phone going off? Still, you're in the middle of a doing art. All right, we're still working the onions. We're still working the onions. All right, I think we're almost ready to go here, kids. Almost ready to go. Anyways, what I was trying to get at originally is made with carne asada. Vampiro comes with carne asada, you know, the, uh, the the cheese and the grilled onions. But realistically, I got a whole variety of meats that you can do it with. Uh, it can be carnitas, it can be whatever, depending on your personal choice, whether you got like chicken, pork. Uh, beef or whatever, uh, you can do it with whatever meat. This man right here that is recording us today uh, is uh, obviously got uh, some sort of a, uh, infatuation with my al pastor. So we'll go ahead and please him. So anyways, we are almost ready here, kids. Almost ready. Actually, I don't like that plate. I don't like that one either. Okay, we'll just do this one. Okay, almost ready here, kids. So now the next step, you grab the tortillas, you're gonna put them on your plate, just like that, just like that. Get off, just like that. We'll do four to get started. All right, we'll put these bad boys right here. You know, it's a uh, appropriate portion for vampiro. Oh yeah, you see that little bit of pineapple on there? Oh yeah. You, this right here, kids, takes your uh, your taste buds for a for a roller coaster. It will confuse you. Your taste buds, realistically, do not know how to respond to this. All right. Once you got the meat on there, the cheese and everything, and the onions are pretty much ready, you grab a little bit of these onions, you know, and you just start putting it on there. You just start putting it on there, just like that. Is your mouth watering, bro? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, so now that we got four like that, you know, because this is art. I'm an artist out here, all right? We put that final one right there. We grab that last little bit of meat. 
All right, we throw them under just like this. Is that still recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we grab that last little bit of onion. You see how the all the portions just happen to work out, you know? My grill is empty, you know? We're ready to go. And then we take it over here to our prep table. Do not show the brand. Uh, obviously, you can do whatever else you want. You can throw other things on it, but this is what the vampiro should look like. We cut up a couple of these limes. You just kind of spread them, you know, make this thing look real nice and pretty. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a platter with five vampiros all ready to go. Now, the final question is, do you want some? All right, until next time, over here at the Yaki uh, Mexican Grill is your is your boy you know keeping it real keeping it hype uh we'll see you next time i'm out